Yes, the title of this video is true. I'm selling all of my stocks. Well, not really. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I am finally rebalancing my Weeble portfolio. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, for the last four weeks, I've been doing a Robinhood versus Weeble challenge where I've been trying to see whether a dividend or a growth portfolio will grow to $10,000 faster. And in every single one of those videos, when I go over my Weeble portfolio, I talk about how I haven't yet rebalanced that portfolio to be as accurate as a growth portfolio as possible. So today is finally the video where I rebalance all the stocks in that portfolio and I sell about 99% of the holdings that I have taking some pretty big losses and I'm going to explain to you exactly why. So if you stick around to the end of this video, then you will learn exactly what I plan on doing moving forward with the growth portfolio after I sell most of the stocks in that portfolio. So let's get started. What's up guys, welcome back to the Centennial Investor. I am your host, Anthony McLemore. And on this channel, I like to talk about passive income, investing in real estate, stock market investing, and making money online. Now today's video has been long awaited, and I've been trying to find a good time to rebalance this portfolio. And I wanted to do it yesterday, but yesterday was Memorial Day at the time I'm recording this video. So I had to do it on this Tuesday. And what I want to do, as I said in the introduction, is rebalance this portfolio to make it as accurate of a growth portfolio as possible. And what I'm gonna do real quick is pull up a spreadsheet of the portfolios that I have so you can see exactly what stocks I play plan on selling and how I plan on moving forward. So here's a spreadsheet that I made with the help of my boy Kalesh over at Alicia Main. I'll put a link down to his channel in the description below. But on this spreadsheet, I have my Robinhood portfolio and my Weber portfolio. So you can see that a lot of things are highlighted in yellow. And basically everything that's highlighted in yellow are the things that I'm going to sell in today's video so I can make this challenge as accurate as possible. For the Weber portfolio, the reason why I'm selling so many things is that a lot of these companies aren't really growth companies to me and I don't really see them as a good fit for the purpose of this portfolio. And for the Robinhood portfolio the reason why i'm selling out of some of these positions is because this is supposed to be a really stable dividend portfolio and right now some of the dividend companies that i own are not that stable and i really want to get myself out of some of the riskier investments that i have just to kind of be more mature and more educated about my investment decisions but i don't want to make this a super long video so let's get right into the selling and rebalancing of this weaver portfolio so here we are my weaver portfolio the value as of today is about 997 dollars which is about perfect because i wanted to get this portfolio to about a thousand dollars when i wanted to rebalance it and before i go into selling all the stocks the reason why I decided to take a couple losses on these stocks is because I've been able to get a few free stocks via affiliate referrals to Weeble. And basically the money that I was able to make from the affiliate referrals, I have decided to use that to offset the losses that I would incur. So basically I'm not losing any money out of pocket, but it is helping my YouTube channel get better. So for all you guys who have used the affiliate link to sign up to Weeble and get two free stocks, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you haven't signed up to Weeble yet and you want to get two free stocks, use the link in the description below. As always, you don't have to use my link if you don't want to, but I would really appreciate it if you did. And it allows us both to get some free stocks and some free money just for signing up to a broker. So going back to the Weaver portfolio, the first stock that I want to sell in this portfolio is Pfizer. On Pfizer, I only own one share and I'm up about 8% on this share, but it really doesn't fit the portfolio style that I'm going for right now. So honestly, I'm going to have to sell my one share of Pfizer at a market price just to make this challenge as accurate as possible. So I submitted that order and my order sold. The next stock I want to sell is Nike. I really love Nike. Most of these first two or three stocks, I'm actually at a game, but I promise you about 80% of these stocks I'm at a loss on. But Nike, I'm up about 2 0.85% or just about $3. So I'm just going to go quickly and sell Nike as well at a market price. One share, order fill. I'm going to go through these really quickly so this video is not super long. The next stock I want to sell is Starbucks. Starbucks, I only own one share as well. I'm down about 3% on Starbucks. So let's sell Starbucks at a market price one share and then i'm going to go into the almighty p sec i'm actually going to sell this stock on both of my portfolios because the payout ratio is just too stupidly high right now so let's go into p sec right now i own 12 shares of p sec in this portfolio and i'm down about eight percent or just about six dollars so what we're going to do we're going to go to p sec going to sell let's do 100 percent at a market price and let's sell it the next stock i want to sell in this portfolio is a couple of the reits that i own now i really love these reits and i really feel bad for having to sell them but i do want to make this challenge as fair as possible so I just got to bite the bullet and sell these stocks. But I don't own a ton of shares in this portfolio, so it's not really that bad. And I think as I build my portfolio up in my Robinhood portfolio on the dividend side, it'll balance itself out in the future. But I do have to take these huge losses on these REITs in this portfolio. So on O, oh, so on Realty Income, I am down 27%, a loss of $20.43. That's just insane. Let's get that out of my portfolio and let's go to sell. Sell O, oh, 27% loss. Believe me, that's not even my biggest loss. Moving forward to Main Street Capital, I am down 17, almost 18% on main street capital but here we are we're going to sell that 100 at a market order next we go into my apple reese i am down another 27 percent my reese did not do good in this portfolio at all so we're going to go to the market and sell it at a market price and get that out of my portfolio now so what we have left is a couple of stocks that i really love honestly but i still got to get them out of my portfolio on delta air i am down 48 percent 
$22.94. I honestly bought this at the worst time possible and I kind of held it as a growth stock and I might buy it again as a growth stock. I don't know yet. Let's get it out of my portfolio and sell it. So if any financial experts or stock picking experts are watching my videos and you see me selling these stocks and think I'm just stupid, I promise you I have a method behind this madness. And it's really just to start as a beginner and grow this portfolio as organically as possible. It's not really about the gains and the losses right now because it is what it is in the future this will provide a lot of new content for my videos and i'm willing to take the losses up front in order to hopefully have a much longer lifespan in terms of this challenge and in terms of the videos that i'm able to make from this challenge so it's not entirely about the investing aspect at this point but it will be in the future and i just want to make that point extremely clear but going back into the portfolio i now want to sell the free stocks that i got from people using my affiliate link and that is four shares of levi so if we look at levi really quickly i didn't buy any of levi with my own money and i have a market value of 55 dollars and 64 cents so if we take that 55 dollars and 64 and adjust on the losses that I just incurred. I'm pretty sure it'll just about even now. I'm probably still down a little bit, but I do have a couple more free stocks coming. And this just makes me feel a lot better about the portfolio in general in terms of the losses that I took because I was able to get this money basically for free. So we're going to sell the shares of Levi that I own at a market price right now and get that $56 in cash so we can use it for further investments in this challenge. And I also got one share of Snap in this challenge. On Snap, I am up 19 cents. So it's just about break even. So I'm going to sell that as well to get the cash for this challenge. There we go. That has been sold. And now I want to go into the three next stocks I'm going to sell. I'm actually going to keep one stock in this portfolio, but the next stock I'm going to sell is da -da 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 Coca Cola. On Coca Cola, I am down 19%. That is astonishing that I'm down so much on this stock, but I'm not going to have a pity party about it. I'm just going to sell it out of this portfolio. Click sell, and there we go. Now we have three stocks left, and what I'm going to sell next is Regions Financial. I really love Regions Financial. It's one of my favorite banking companies there is because I live in the South and have such great morals, but I'm going to sell out of Regions Financial. I still own it in my other portfolio, and I still will be adding more positions to it in my other the portfolio but as for this growth portfolio i'm going to stick to some more heavy growth stock so here we are selling regions financial and getting that cash so now we have two stocks left i talk about both of these stocks in most of my videos and i love them both actually i don't talk about apple too much but i do talk about at&t a lot so the next stock i'm going to sell in this growth portfolio is at&t it breaks my heart to sell at&t i'm down 17 percent in this portfolio on at&t but i have to make this challenge fair and here we go selling at&t so the one stock that i am going to keep in this portfolio is one share of apple on apple i am up about seven percent or about 23 dollars and that's going to be one of the fundamental companies that i keep in this portfolio and i may add a little bit more but as of right now my portfolio is valued at $996.51 in this portfolio we have $617.19 worth of buying power that I can use to buy growth stocks but I want to buy the growth stocks in today's video because I want to make that a video of its own what I do want to do right now is go into Robinhood and sell some of the positions that I hold over there so I can free myself up from some of those risky investments so let's head right over to Robinhood right now so here we are in my Robinhood portfolio I don't know about you guys but I am not a huge fan of this new color scheme that they have I personally was a big fan of the light green it really was visually appealing to me I guess it's just something I have to get used to. But in this portfolio, it is valued at $653.77. On a day, it's up just over 4%. I like to compare this portfolio to the S&P 500. And the S&P 500 is up just about 1.69%. So I'm actually beating out a little bit today. And this is one of the best days to sell out of this portfolio since it is a green day and I won't be taking as many losses. But as for the stocks I want to sell in this portfolio, I want to sell out of PSEC in this portfolio because the dividend payout ratio is just too high. And so far on PSEC, I am up 34%. That is insane. And if this is not one of the best times to sell out a piece second for me personally that I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to take those $2.72 profit and add this $5 back to my portfolio. So I'm going to sell it at a market order and submit that. And there we go. The next stock I want to sell out in this portfolio is Exxon Mobil. On Exxon Mobil, I am up almost 11.32%. I'm not taking profits right now just because I want to or just because it is a good time to. I'm taking profits because these companies don't fit the ideal personality of this portfolio. So that's why I am selling out of them right now. So I'm going to sell all of my shares of Exxon Mobil, review that and submit it. I have two more stocks I want to sell in this portfolio which is delta air and these next two stocks that i'm selling is because they don't pay a dividend so delta air i am up 6.55 percent on that and that's honestly pretty good just for a company in the airline industry right now so i'm going to sell out of my positions of delta air i only own one share of delta air i almost thought i bought one actually i was a little bit surprised and the last thing i want to sell is my share of ford on ford i am up 14 percent so this is actually a pretty good time to sell the stocks in this portfolio so i'm going to sell Ford and get that out of my portfolio so that's all the stocks i want to sell in today's video so the buying power that i have right now is nine dollars and 32 cents and I feel a lot more comfortable with the stocks that I own in this portfolio and I feel really good moving forward. So I know I didn't buy anything in today's video and this video is a little bit repetitive and I'm sorry, but I think it's important for me to be as transparent as possible with the investing decisions that I'm making. As far as what stocks I plan on buying and selling moving forward, I don't really plan on selling anything else moving forward because I plan on making some good educational financial decisions with the stocks that I buy and I don't really like the idea of selling stocks in general. So if you have any ideas of what stocks I should add to my growth portfolio moving forward as I do have about six to $700 with the buying power in there, 
leave a comment down below and i'll be sure to do a stock analysis on that stock to see whether or not i want to add it to my portfolio right now i'm thinking about the company boeing or some other growth companies in the startup technology industry or the biotech industry even the marijuana industry right now i'm kind of all over the place with the industries i want to invest in i just have a whole bunch of ideas and a whole lot of time to implement those ideas so i really hope this video made sense to you guys and you actually found some valuable content if you did find some kind of valuable content in this guys please leave your bar with that like rating because it really helps boost my videos up in the youtube algorithm a little bit and it also means a lot to me personally that you find my video so entertaining that you actually want to leave a like rating on it not to drag the end of this video out any longer i really hope you enjoyed this video and until the next upload guys peace